All right. So uh, what I want to do today is show you how to solve this problem here. And you can see there's a lot of stuff going on with my one value d. I need to solve for that value of d. And we need, you know, that's going to make it true. And I have all these numbers and all these parentheses. So a lot's going on. So there's two ways we can look at this. And I'm going to show you a way that I haven't taught um, in uh, the other problems. The first thing is what we know what to do. Simplify it by using your order of operations. You can see I have a lot of parentheses here, meaning I'm going to be using distributive property a lot. The first distributive property I would do would be right here. So I'd have a negative 3, and then I'd multiply 25 times d, which is 25d, and then 25 times negative 12, which would be a negative 300, equals a negative 36. Then what I could do is do distributive property again. So I could do negative 3 times 25, which would be a negative 75d. Negative 3 times 300, which would be a positive 900, equals a negative um, 36. Right? Then I'm at a two-step equation. So now I could just solve. So I could do subtract 900 from both sides. Negative 75d equals a negative 936. Then what I would do is I'd take my lovely calculator and I'd say 900, negative 936 divided by negative 75 equals 12.58, a positive 12.58. 4 eight, not 5 eight. All right, so that's perfectly fine. That's what I've taught you before. And there's nothing wrong with that. However, I believe I have a little more time. I do. I'm going to show you a different way that we can use with distributed property. You don't always have to do the distributed property to simplify. Another thing we can do is what we actually call getting rid of distributed property. So let's take a look at something. I'll leave this answer here. You know that if I have, let's say I have 5 equals 5. Well, you know that's true, right? And you know the multiplication of property of equality states that if you multiply the same number on both sides, you produce equivalent equations, right? So if I look at this, you see that I have negative 3 times all of this stuff and then this negative 36. Well, to undo negative 3 times all that stuff, I can just divide by negative 3. So now negative 3 divided by negative 3 gives us to 1 times 25 times d minus 12. Well, 1 times that is just going to be that identity, right? So I can actually now get rid of these parentheses. So this is now going to equal a positive 12. Now again, this doesn't always work. It might not be the nicest, but it's important for you to understand we can use this process. Now I can undo by 25. So I'll divide 25 on both sides. So therefore then, again, that's going to cancel to 1. Or not cancel to 1, but go to 1. 1 times d minus 2. d minus 12 is d minus 12. And then I'll just again look at my calculator and do 12 divided by 25. And I'm going to keep the fraction, which is or the decimal, which is 0.48. Then I'll add 12 to both sides. And you can see I get d equals 12.48. So therefore, there's two different ways. You can apply by using the distributive property, or you can use your uh, division property of equality to undo, multi uh, undo the distributive property. So there you go. Hope that helped.